hello guys welcome back so finally our back end is complete and everything from the controllers requests resources models and also the migrations factories and everything is in place and also we have configured the routes but the only thing which is remained and we need to do it later is the uploading images for opportunities and forum and we'll come to this when we uh, working on the flatter application and uploading the images if you remember from our uh, initial design we had the images for opportunities and also uh, we can have it for the forum so this is the code and right now the code is complete and it is ready to uh, sh share this code on github so I assume that you know what GitHub is and how we can collaborate from the GitHub. So I'm going to the uh, github.com and uh, if you don't have an account, you need to create an account. So here is mine and I have already an account. So I logged in. So this is the initial page that you will see after a successful login. So here is your repositories and based on the uh, the type of repository whether it is a private repository or a public repository it will be listed here so you can click here to create a new repository and I'm going to create that so I will call it as uh, Forsat backend and this is our uh, Forsat application backend and for the description you can write the description that you want and I will just write the uh, forset back end and, and I will write Laravel so you can have a descriptive uh, description uh, and right now it's not the time to waste your time and uh, write all those things and here is the mode which is public and private you can choose and i'm going to share this code publicly and uh, i want to i want this code to be available to everyone so i'm going to choose the um, public one but if i choose one only me or the people that i allow to this repository can have access to this one but i'm going to choose the public one and right now you can have a readme uh, so I'm not going to tick this one and I'm going to click on the uh, creating repository. This will take a little bit time based on your internet connection and right now everything is ready. So I have this repository created and here is, uh, you know, the, uh, what you can say, the help that uh, you can use to just post or to just store your code on this repository from the command line. And also here is the, uh, what we can say, the URL to this repository. So here, first of all, what you need is you need to install the Git. And uh, if you're using the Windows, you have something called Git Bash. And uh, you can download it. Here it is uh, there. I think it, yeah, Git download, Git sim. So this is the Git that you can download it for the windows and currently for the mac i already have it if you don't have you can download it and after that what you can do you can have this git command available to you so already i have it so i'm going to my on my php storm if i write git you can see i already have this command that's why it's coming so first of all i'm going to just type git init and you, you can see here we have initialize empty git repository and so this is there and right now what I'm going to do is uh, if you come here first of all you can have this git add readme or I mean the one file but right now what we want is to add all these files so I'm going to do it like this git add star it star means this repository whatever it is inside that Oh, and uh, make sure that here you have something called git ignore and uh, whatever the files or the what we can say the directories that you have inside this git ignore will not be added in the repository so if you want suppose this dot styles whatever it is 
to not be added suppose the store link something like that so you can add it here so this will not be uploaded uh, to the repository so right now I want all of these files to be uh, uploaded there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write git add store not one file and then here you have something get commit hyphen m and your message so I will write git commit and then hyphen m for your message so I'm just going to write initial uh, commit so and that's it and uh, right now I'm going to hit enter so everything right here I will create a commit and once the commit is created what you can do you can copy this one and basically what this is this is the origin or the uh, this is the repository URL and you can add it to the origin so I'm going to just paste it here and hit enter so this origin is added and what you can do is just write git push hyphen u origin master so git push hyphen u because um, it's like remotely and right now I'm accessing the github remotely so hyphen u origin and that's it and pressing enter oh origin master I need to because we have the master branch so this is how you can just post your code or mean store your code in this repository and it will take a little bit time to just store everything there and right now it's done and if I just refresh the repository you can see the code is already uh, stored there and you have everything so basically this readme is coming from the this readme that you already have initial bundling so this is the readme file that you have and so this is coming from that but if you delete that it will not come and also here you will see the list of commits that uh, this um, branch or this uh, repository has and also the issues will be listed here and if you have any issue you can create a new issue from here and uh, just post your message so and also uh, what you can say if you just collaborate or if you make some changes you can have a pull request and based on so the the one who has right can merge it and also we have everything here that you can just go and see so this is uh, the code and I will uh, share the link with you you can just get it from here or download a zip file and uh, you can have access to this code so thank you for watching and in the next video we are going to start with our flutter application